Clark. They've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. Sound like you're not coming. They've got the cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Yeah, you missed a lot. All right. Oh, Gamora! Since when do you meditate? I don't, but desperate times and all. Stuff's been a lot lately. I get it. How the help me do I get it? Uh, so, how do you use this then? In, in case, you know, Rocket asks. Well, for one, it isn't about just holding it. You also need a comfortable place to sit where you can be relaxed but alert and focus on your breathing. Then you practice a lot. Yeah, that sounds like a lot more work than I was hoping for. Anything worth doing tends to be. So how do you do it? Focus was something Thanos beat into us early on. But it wasn't until I lived with the priests of Pama that I realized how... limited his version of meditation really was. How did you end up living with the priests of Pama? 
They're not exactly your kind of crowd with the whole pacifism thing. Mantis introduced me to them last year, when I needed to heal. They helped me in ways I didn't think were possible. Helped? How? I guess you could say I was broken. Thanos, the war, working as an assassin. It'd take a toll on you. By the time Mantis brought me there, I was ready to give up. I mean, I was miserable. Convinced I was beyond redemption or worth. I truly believed I deserved to die. But you didn't. Die? No. There was this... boy there. A con. The one you hugged in the village. A con was like me. Lost. His parents had died in an accident. He was combative, rebellious, the opposite of a pacifist. <laughs> the priest thought it would be a good idea for both of us to work through our scut together. <laughs> and was it? <laughs> At first, not really. He was a pain in the butt. But over time, we came to rely on each other. Thanos had taught me how to meditate in the functional sense, but not in the spiritual sense. Like, how to work through my trauma. Caring for a con, it... He forced me to reflect and process. And together, through mutual support, a con and I were able to overcome our demons. I can't picture Thanos meditating. I kind of always figured he was this egotistical tyrant. No, oh, he totally was. But Thanos also understood that aspects of meditation could be useful to his cause. Like focus? Focus, increasing overall awareness, pain tolerance. He came up with a series of exercises, fun little games for me and Nebula to compete in as part of our training. The worst part was, we didn't even know what he was doing until it was too late. What do you mean? Thanos' brand of meditation warped us. Turned us into hyper-focused weapons. That way we were numb to the horrors of his agenda. Killing people. Assassination is just a different name for murder. So how did you cope? We made puns. Bad, stupid jokes to shout as we were. Killing people. The more terrible, the better. Here I thought you just had a really lame sense of humor. Oh, I do. But it was the only way to survive. And it was something we did together. A new kind of competition. Just between me and Nebula. To see who can make the other laugh. That's really messed up. And yet, oddly endearing. Yeah, well... Even bad puns can only get you so far before your conscience catches up with you. Wow. I had no idea meditation could be so... intense. Or beneficial? Well, yeah, that too. I guess I should give it a go sometime. Although I'm kind of scared of what I'll find. Who knows? You might surprise yourself. I know I did. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured, but beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle, then. 
Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive and... and... Uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch, because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Hey, that Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. I am good. Hey! That nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. So Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Uh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. We rode and saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. I doubt even you could break that. Cosmo, it may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted.
that explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. I thank the matriarch for the gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Travelers, have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Let's sever his ties at mine! Smoke the rocket! Hold to the 
to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Anybody see any this way to the fulfillment signs? No. I will inform you if I observe any. Um, thanks. I don't mean to pry, so I'll let you. I must pry it loose from its source. Find the girl. How do we sever her connection with Magus? We don't. If Cocoon Boy ain't around to suck it up afterward, we'll just have to reason with her. Some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security. This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Cosmo. Is on their side. Getting to the cortex could be a lot harder. The Church believes they have already won. We must use that to our advantage. This mission is about saving Nikki. It would be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the promise, but like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. What kind of promise could they offer a dog anyway? A nice game of fetch. Exactly. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of it stored here. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. Same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Oh, I really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. Well, I gotta believe some of them stood up against the church. 
They call themselves outlaws for Flark's sake. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Eh, wasn't half as secure as the dog thought. The church's forces increased by the tick. Their superior numbers could have easily breached the defenses. Well, we got just the five of us. Filling us all with confidence there, big guy. Shh. Try not to give ourselves away. Fear death. More batteries the deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I don't suppose we can try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wacko. Way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Peter, you should find a way over to check. What? Why me? Ain't you the leader of this outfit? Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones that can do this, right? Namora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. What's taking so long? I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. There's been no sign of Goldie Braun since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked. Up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The Warlock carries an old grudge. He not align himself with the Brandons. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. 
Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us, and he's got a pretty good reason to hate Raker. So you buy his ripped my soul in two story. Just saying, if anybody stands a chance going toe to toe with Raker, it's him. And we're gonna need the Grand Unifier out of the way if we want to stop this ritual. Throw the meat into the meat grinder to keep it busy. That's not what I... No! I'm on board now, Quill. It's a solid strategy. Careful. There's treachery ahead. Okay. We got this. Right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign, the collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Wait, how did he move the whole emporium? It was a ship. Huh. Never would have guessed it from the inside. Eh, maybe it's more of a shuttle. Ah, uh, Groot's right. We're getting distracted. I've seen nowhere this desolate before. No way! When? If you wander about early enough in the morning, it is this empty. Oh, man, Rocket's talked about these. He's gonna love this. Did he? Improbable. He magically shaved when our backs were turned. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Wonder if Cosmo's gonna keep control of the station once this mess is sorted. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, the Cortex could... Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. Say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. And the converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic, if you think about it. Something down there we can use. Fruit. <laughs> ah, the seedy underbelly, seedy underbelly. You know, they used to run a poacher's ring out of here. Is that what that smell was? Yep, rotting beasts from Maclu 4. This real 
really hoping there'd be hover bikes down here. Why would there be? No outrageous parking fees, for one. And two, sometimes you want to drop something off without anyone else seeing. So if there were hover bikes down here? We could have hopped on and zipped down to the lower city. Me and Groot used to do it all the time. There you go. Should be safe. Should be. Thank Flark these boots are waterproof. before Nikki becomes a dead end too. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big happy flark and family? It's not garbage. Behold the power of the light! Via Magnati! Oh, 
you good? Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church? No, of course not, just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... she loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenobri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nutjob cult leader. Yes. Incoming! Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. We 
You should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kind of miss it. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. So, Gamora... How am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? Really? A fate force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking, then. Disconnect the power, Quill. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. Let's book it. Now is not the time for literature. <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. I saw you die. The form is fleeting. But the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Feel this? 
Champion cheeks. Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. Indeed. I would much rather face them with my blades. Intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. That's one way down. The best way. 
We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice. I did see a floor directly below this one. I ain't seeing no hatch or nothing. Hey, Quill, try your visor. Still at it! At least our guy seems to be winning. It must suck to be a celestial head just floating around the edge of the universe's stuck toilet, and then parasites move in. Ba 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 boom, baby! You sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. Always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. Thought it would be the world mine cracking down on him. Part of the floor looks weak. Good thing we got old big boots. Oh, you gotta be flarking kidding me. This carnage brings back troubling memories of worlds I destroyed. Always wondered, what did you use to do that? Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Are you kidding? After the fit you threw last time? This ain't like the last time. You all... I trust you guys. Whoa! Glad that wasn't Rocket! You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We don't have to worry about that because we will stop it. More specifically, I'm gonna make Raker eat my element guns. Perhaps shooting him would yield better results. And then we're gonna bring my daughter home and that's... That's what worries you. One problem at a time. Any of this structurally sound? Something tells me it never was. Yep, that's part of nowhere's charm. Dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage. Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Oh, Faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mud let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed to the promise! Get away from my dog!
them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. <laughs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's Peter Quinn. Because no knows never why. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmos Smilb? Smell of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky and cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home? He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katadia not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit. Mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. If by men you mean I saved your park, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Go 
Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you a... Family would never turn back on Cosmo. Raised since he was mere pup. Just because someone feeds you and trains you doesn't mean they're your family. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo, yeah, but... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love? For protection? But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must, Must be, be loyal. loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on Nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Piotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions, you must bite them with all your might. Be calm. Cosmo not fit your eyes. That's it, but what do you tell them? Nowhere is Cosmo home being. His pups, his family, will protect the dog cause! Sick him, boy! <sighs> Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. Think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attacking Scratch Snatchers, gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people, let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. What do you mean when you quit the Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. Attacking scratch snatchers! Ah! Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We got a gig from an old contact at Mantlo's, before you barged in for a family reunion with Mr. No Lips. Not the weirdest guy I know. You're the weirdest guy I know. The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we can even stop something this powerful? Eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. She knows what she's doing, or... Raker said Nikki chose nowhere for the ritual, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. Guardian of Galaxy, Cosmo is going for Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church dudes between us and the Cortex. You coming? Yeah. Cosmo is retaking power of security where his pups are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Pass two. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. And stay down, you Clark and Joe the Boy! 
security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. I think I've got my mask. Drax, a little help, people. Readily. Set her down, bud. What are you doing? That's the way we came. I'll be quick. what could have decapitated a celestial. Likely it was an exceptionally large blade. Well, I never want to meet whoever was wielding it. You want some more stuff for me, Drax? discovered the cortex? Right about there. This seems impertinent to our task. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping? Scoping? Hey, group. Think you can get me up there? Can you give me 
see another ride group? Right about there. Oh, yeah. I've been thinking. Yeah, the, the nobodies look out for themselves, but... This place smells weird. It's the brains. It goes sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and... I don't know, something else. Korea. What's that? It's a waste product of a large contemporary slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. Why do the mightiest powers of the universe not intervene against the Church? Galactus, the Stranger, the Living Tribunal. They didn't show up for the Galactic War either. We won it without them. Your mistake is making they give a single part about the rest of us. asking if there might be tiny people living inside our heads, like nowhere. It is a valid question. Many homes are made from wood. Brute, don't listen to the scary man. Small marvel crafted. This work is worth more than your worth, Quill. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Oh, what have they done to you? My baby. There is a way to steer nowhere directly into the rift. Can't risk it if Nikki's here. You want to erase the best place in the galaxy? No way! The wonderful and terrible things we were gonna do together. You, uh. okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere! What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. I am yeah, the Milano's great, but a ship ain't the same. I got history here. You know that. <sighs> Let's just go. It ain't getting any better standing here gawking at it. What do the buyers do with all of the brain matter? They buy bone scrapes and spinal fluid, too. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flark and Continuum Cortex. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flark Nards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. How do you know there is a wheel? I, I saw no wheel. Yeah, there ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with church scum. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness.
Make a bridge of our own. Let's watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. More importantly, we know what we can do. Right, easy now. So once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? I do not recall anyone making that claim. We're gonna get paid after all this, right? Somehow. <laughs> yeah, at least the metal. Made out of precious metal so I can sell it. Careful. Gets a little whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. <laughs> Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, Scott Parker! Trash! Kick their foot! Don't worry about me, bud. I'm enjoying this! I am losing control! Oh, man! You guys are in big trouble! Just 
venerable as it is large! We must break it! Put him down before I carve out your life! Well, order up! I am losing control! Embrace the tracks! Save your ammo! Take this great one a special surprise! We're about to walk into a nightmare! I know it! I have seen the world in my own life! Good riddance. Now the true battle begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. I have only one face. Well, put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Engraving an explosive is imprudent. If Raker is still alive, he's mine. We can split him. Literally. Gamora already got an arm. She has to wait her turn for seconds. You snooze! Everyone quiet! What did they do to the Cortex? Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out!
Sloppy! We can end this! Speak for yourself! Well, and Sloppy is how I get things done! Just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. This will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat. Please, give me an excuse to kill. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. <laughs> 